everyone, it's Jessica. Welcome to Being Classy. In this video, I wanna show you how to use Microsoft Forms. Microsoft Forms is an application that allows you to create surveys or quizzes. So from office.com, this is me logged into my office.com account. If you don't have an account, you can create one for free. Microsoft Forms is under the free version of Microsoft Office. And so inside office.com, this is my landing page of my login. So what I wanna do is I want to navigate over here to my applications on the left-hand side. You'll see this bar. I notice here that I do not see Microsoft Forms. Microsoft Forms is green. I see Word, Excel, PowerPoint, etc., but I don't see Microsoft Forms. So what I can do is I can go ahead and click on the waffle. Um, that is the nine dots in the top left corner. You refer to that as a waffle. If you click on that, you can find all of your apps. So if you do not see Microsoft Forms right here, if you click on all apps, you can then find Microsoft Forms. So right here is Microsoft Forms. You can also find Microsoft Forms just by typing Microsoft Forms and you can log in that way. But once you are here, you'll notice you can either create a new form, that means it's a survey, or you can create a new quiz. So what's the difference between a form and a quiz? Well, a form is just a survey. You don't assign point values to it. And a quiz you can assign point values to and you can also add feedback to correct or incorrect answers. So there's a lot of other elements in quiz that make it more robust as far as evaluating academic performance. You'll also notice that there are some templates that you can get started with. But I'm just for the purpose of this going to create a form. So under form, if you create new form, so you would start with a title. So I might be wanting to get parent feedback. So you start with the title, you can enter a description, maybe briefly explain the directions of what you're looking for. And then you can create add new. This is now going to give you some options. Microsoft Forms automatically gives you some suggested questions based off of your title. So the suggestions here, I also wanna note, these are different types of questions. So the first one says, any other comments you want to provide for our school? Over here on the right hand side of this question, you're going to notice the little T. That means that this is a text based response. So people answering this question will have to type a response in. You'll notice these symbols also relate right up here. When you add a question, you can choose whether you're going to add a multiple choice question, a text based question rating or add a date. And you can also find other questions here. So the other thing you'll notice here is how likely would you recommend our school to a friend or colleague? This type of question is going to ask them to rate it on a one to five star. So if I added that to my form and I'm going to add the first question to my form, I also want to add this multiple choice question. Please indicate the grade of your oldest school age child. So once I do that, I can click on the right hand side of the suggested questions, add selected three questions. Now this is being added to my form and I can edit this. That's based off of my suggested questions. But what if you don't have suggested questions? Well, you can very easily add a new question. So by clicking add new, so I'm going to choose a multiple choice question. So I want to know, does your child attend live class? Again, it gives me suggested options, which is awesome. So if I want to add those, I can add all those. If I don't, I can just type in my responses here, but I'm going to go ahead and add all of those. You can add a picture, insert media. If you insert media, you can either insert an image from the web or from your computer or video, which is really awesome. Then when you're adding questions, you can say, yes, they can choose multiple answers. That's going to allow them to check multiple boxes. If you want it to be a required question, you can go ahead and click on that required button. And then the three little dots right next to required, you can shuffle the questions. You can create a subtitle and you can add branching. Now branching, I can get into in a different video. It's really a cool thing that you can add to forms and quizzes. The other thing you can do in your form is you can choose a theme and Microsoft will have different themes available to you. Sometimes they'll have different colors. So you can go ahead and scroll through. So you'll notice it changes the background here. So I've changed my theme. I have my questions. Now I want to know what this will look like when I give it to somebody. So I'm going to click on the preview at the top right corner of my screen. This allows me to see what it'll look like from a responder's point of view. You can see what it'll look like on the computer 
or on a mobile device. If somebody opens up your form on their phone, they can go ahead and respond to it in the same way they would on a computer. All right, so I like how it looks. I'm gonna go ahead and go back and I'm gonna make sure my other settings are set appropriately before sending out my form. If I click on the three dots next to send, I have a few settings that I wanna make sure are set properly. Depending on if you're in an organization, if you're part of a work or school, you may have the option to send the form to only people in the organization can respond. If that is true, that means only people with your domain, the same domain as you can view this form. If you don't want that to be the case, so if you're sending it to parents and they do not have the same domain name as yours, then you're gonna wanna uncheck that box to anyone can respond. So I am not part of a school or workplace here, which is why it doesn't show that option, but I do want to accept responses. Notice you can choose a start date and end date for this form. You can shuffle questions. You can receive an email notification of each response. Power Automate is another Microsoft application that can send you an email if somebody answers yes to a question. So Power Automate is a little bit more specific and allows you to get a little bit more specific data sent to your email when people fill out your form or quiz. But in this case, under settings, you can just get an email notification anytime somebody responds and you can customize the thank you message. So once your settings are all set, I'm now ready to send my response. So I'm going to go ahead and click send. Notice, like I said, because I'm not part of a work or school, it says anyone can respond. If you are part of a work or school or business organization, you might have a few other options here, like only people in my organization can respond. If you do choose anyone in my organization can respond, it'll automatically collect their name and email address because they're in your organization. If you choose anyone can respond, you're not going to automatically get their name or email address collected in your response. So you may want to have that in your form. If you want to know who responded, what they responded to, you would want to add name and email address to a question in your form. You can go ahead and shorten this URL and click copy. Notice you can also grab a QR code for this survey. You could grab an embed link for this survey, or you could automatically send it via email, share it via Facebook or Twitter as well. Now, once people have responded to your form, let's say you're back in your OneDrive account. If I navigate back to Microsoft Forms, I can now view the different responses for this form. By clicking on the form, opening up, I can now view the response right in the top right corner here. It says responses. I have one person who has responded to this form, this survey. So I can either view the results directly in Microsoft Forms or I can open it in Excel and view the data in Excel. So I hope this video helped you getting started with Microsoft Forms. If this video is helpful, go ahead and like the video, subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with all things being classy. And if there's anything you ever wanted to know how to do, go ahead and drop a comment below. Maybe in a future video, I will put that up. Thanks everybody. Bye.